I really like the word recycle. I like saying it and I want everyone to do it. It means I have a chance to be better by doing something good for the environment. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and prepare for my next act. This was made out of plastic bags. They just use different colors to make it really beautiful and colorful. And it is really creative. You should not just throw them away. This, this plastic bag has made a beautiful pencil case. I have a flower pot with some door knobs. These are all made out of um, plastic bottle tops. I think this you can put your cup of tea or anything. This is made out of plastic bottles. So even as well as this, this is the tool that they use to cut the plastic bottles. You can design so many things just using this simple plastic. Wow, that's, oh, that's so, so beautiful. Cool. This, this is South Sudan. Sudan. This, this is Rwanda. Rwanda. This that is Burundi. Burundi. This, this is Tanzania. Tanzania. This, this is Uganda. Uganda. This, this is, is Kenya. Kenya. Have you ever wondered why some things sink and others float? Let's do an experiment and try to find out why. Walk around your house and select items you'd like to test out. We collected a plastic toy, a pen, plastic bottle, a spoon, a sponge and a rock. Now, put water in a big container. I'm using an aquarium so that you can see better, but you can just use a bucket. Fill it right up. Now take one thing at a time and put it in the water. Is it sinking or is it floating? I wonder why some float and why some sink. Can you help me figure it out? Let's work it out together. Maybe the objects that sunk have something in common. They could have been made of the same substance. Or maybe not. What about the objects that sunk in the water? Could it have to do with their size and weight? Could that be the answer? This is an orange. Let's see what happens when I put it in water. It floats! Now let me take another one and peel it. It sinks. What happened? Hey, time to check it out. Tumor, tumor. Ready, steady, go. Today, we got to practice rowing. Get in your boat and grab the paddle and slow start to roll. Make your hands strong to push the wave. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Gently down the street. Gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Roll, roll, roll your boat. Gently down the street. Gently down the street. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Yeah! Oh, that was really, really, really good. Try to do that every day. Until next time we meet. Let's take a moment to slow down and focus. Taking some time to pause is good for us to help us stay calm. Sit or lie down in a way that feels comfortable Imagine a river with muddy water. The water is brown and there's some plastic bottles and rubbish floating in it. Sometimes our thoughts can be like a river and it might feel cluttered or messy with worries or negative thoughts. Now imagine that the river is becoming clean. The rubbish has been removed. The water is clear and is flowing smoothly. When things feel uncertain in life, remember that bad times will pass our mind will become clear again, just like the river.